guys, it's Melanie Ham, and welcome to my channel. Today, I'm gonna show you how to make a quilt top out of a jelly roll. Here's mine. I'm gonna show you how to make this entire thing today in this video. I actually did this with my Facebook Live family. I go on Facebook Live every week and do demonstrations and things like that. We actually made this quilt top on a live video. <laughs> it was kind of crazy, to be honest with you. Um, but we did it and it was a fun little experiment. So what you need is a jelly roll. Now this is a jelly roll. For those of you that don't know what these are, this is a pre-cut of fabric and these are strips of fabric. So they measure two and a half inches wide by the width of fabric. And the materials that you need for this are a jelly roll, coordinating thread, obviously your sewing machine. And if you don't have a rotary cutter and a mat and a ruler, you can get away with it for this one. So um, all the materials will be down below and everything listed out. The uh, link for the printable PDF download instructions will be there as well over on my website, melaniekham.com. But for now, let's jump right into the tutorial. I'm going to teach you how to make this quilt. All right, guys. So here's the trick with piecing these long strips. Okay, so here is my jelly roll so far. The green strip at the top is gonna to be the top piece. And here is my jelly roll. This is a line from Amy Butler a while back. I'm not sure you could find it. It's the Happy Collection. I'm just gonna kind of grab stuff. It doesn't need to be in any particular order when you're using a really bold and fun print like this. And I'm gonna take my new strip and I'm gonna place it right sides together using a quarter inch seam allowance, okay? And when you're using a quarter inch seam allowance with this pinked edge, which is that zigzag cut edge, use the seam allowance starting from the edge of the zigzag, okay? So the outside piece, not the inside part of that zigzag. There's no need to do that. So you're gonna use a quarter inch seam allowance and I recommend a really fun and bold jelly roll for this project because that way it'll create a really fun look with a, such a simple construction. So we're gonna sew down the entire um, long seam of that jelly roll. Jelly rolls are with the fabric, so that's 42 to 44 inches. And your ends are gonna be uneven and we're gonna trim that up later, so don't worry about that, just do your best. So now when you get to the end, the trick is with the jelly roll quilt is to then do the next seam in the opposite direction. So where we've ended our stitch right here, right here on this side is where we're going to need to sew down the opposite direction. It creates, um, it can get a little wonky with such a long seam. So that's the end I just finished. Now I'm gonna go right sides together with my new strip and sew the opposite direction. It just kind of helps to make sure things don't get wonky or weird with these really long seams. It's just like a little trick to help you. So that's what you're gonna do. You're basically gonna get your new strip of fabric and just pile it on and sew these all down. This is such an easy construction. You will do this in no time. You could have a whole quilt top done in an afternoon. Here's my new um, fabric here. And you can see where it's uneven. Don't worry about that, just do your best. And uh, we're gonna trim that all down a little bit later. Here, I'm just attaching the new one and we'll keep sewing down. Pretty easy, right? Total beginner friendly project. Um, I've seen you guys sharing some of these that you've already made and they are so fun. All right, so here's a little bird's eye view of me sewing along on my Juki. Use a coordinating thread and just hang out and do all of these. Um, you can do this really, really quickly, which is a really nice thing about this project. After you're done with this, you take it over to the ironing board and press your seams. You can press them open like I'm doing here. You can press them to one side. It doesn't really matter. It's really up to you. If you press it open, the seams can sometimes lay a little bit flatter on the front side, um, but really it's up to you. Sometimes folding um, it to one side is a little bit faster. So keep that in mind. The next thing you wanna do is press really, really well the entire thing and then fold it in quarters. And then we're gonna trim the sides. Just make sure that everything is really nicely laid out so that you don't get a wonky cut. But if you're having trouble with this step, we will be squaring up the quilt. Like later in the quilting process, you square it up after you quilt it. So don't worry if it's not absolutely perfect. And um, yeah, that's it. Your quilt will measure about 41 by 62, depending on the manufacturer of your jelly roll. And you can see here why it's so important to have a nice, 
fun, bold print that's going to create such a special result, beginner friendly project. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this quilting tutorial. All right, guys, that was it. What did you think of this project? I would love to hear your feedback down below in the comments. If you love quilting and you're just getting into quilting and would love some more tips and tricks, I invite you to go check out my free mini course called Five Days to Better Quilting. You can go to five, the number five, daysquilting.com and sign up there for that mini course. It has got tons and tons of tips and tricks all quilting related. So it's a really, really great resource. All right. So that's it for today. You can click right here to subscribe to this channel. Help me get to 300,000. Thank you so much for your help. And right here, you can click for my last video. And right here, you can click for my last quilting video. So those are great ways to sort of like see what I've been up to lately. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thumbs up, comments below. And uh, melaniekham.com, the link is in the description box below uh, for the printable instructions for this Jelly Roll quilt. Show me your pictures on social media. Everything is listed down below in the description box as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Mwah. See ya. Bye.